This is Travis Allison from GoCamp.pro. Welcome to the second in our series of getting started with Slack. In this video, we're going to talk about direct messages and using the channels to, to their best effect. To start with direct messages, you can see the people that are in your team here. And Slackbot is in every team. It's just a, a little space for you to take your own notes, um, you know, a place that you can put ideas, etc., to come back to later. It's just a little storage space for that. Um, and you can also teach Slackbot to put in funny responses if you say something, um, etc. It's just all lots of possibilities of Slackbot. Um, but here you have someone like Laura that I could directly message um, by just opening up her name and starting to type in here. Um, I could also click on direct messages and it would open up Laura exactly as we've done. So that's how you do that. It is um, Stay, the conversation stays between the two of you. Um, maybe if you at message somebody else, they'd be bought, brought into that conversation. I don't really know, but um, it's uh, it, it's good to think of any online communication as being eventually searchable, but really it's quite private by using the direct message features. So I want to talk about channels. And um, I have start the using Slack channel, which for our GoCamp Pro people um, will just be placed to ask us questions about using this um, for our discussions, etc. cetera. Um, and I can star it by clicking to the right of, to the left, to the left of the channel identifier, and that will make it, bring it up to the top. I may be following lots of channels, but have one or two that I want to make sure I see everything in. Um, so I can just start that way. And um, you could also start by pulling down on this chevron and opening up all of these different options for it. Um, so I could unstart from there. So um, clicking on a channel will bring it up in the big white column in the center and I can read all the way down to the bottom and then just uh, join in the chat here, um, the same as you would with any other chat client. Just enter, write what you want to, hit enter, and it'll post it. You can also um, drop photos into the channel by just drag and drop. You can um, put links to other files or links to articles online or blog posts or Twitter comments. It's all available. Just drop it in there by putting the link into the channel. Um, so again, the information is sorted from oldest at the top to most recent at the bottom. So the chat, what you're referring to usually is right above where you're chatting. You can also in the channel use an at message to highlight someone's name. So I could add the Slack bot um, and, or Laura in this case, and go in and send something directly to that person. They'll get notified that there is a post in this channel with them. You can see all the channels are identified starting with a hashtag, and um, that's just one of the conventions of Slack. Um, you could be writing in one channel and I, you know, hashtag another channel to um, to put the notification in both. Uh, when you're setting up channels, you can use your own naming conventions. Ours is a bit different. GS for us means getting started, and so um, it's just a way for us to indicate to people that this is discussions around that particular topic. Normally you would just put in whatever you like. Of course, the channels you start with are called general and random, and you can modify those or add extra channels on your own. You can see in here that there are 11 more channels that I could join. I just find the one that I like, hover over it, and click the join button, and then it shows up in my list. And um, so I add the ones just that I want to follow. At this point in GoCamp Pro's history, there's not a lot of volume. There's not a lot of discussions because it's we're only about to release it to the public. But you may find after a time that it gets a bit noisy on a channel that you're not that interested in. And so you could unsubscribe for it, unsubscribe from it by leaving the channel. That's in, again, in this drop-down chevron, leave channel, and then it's not in the ones that are prevalent shown to you when you sign in. So really using channels is the way that you organize information when you're chatting, when you're putting stuff out there. But again, don't forget that you can always search for things. Searching is a great tool that Slack offers. And um, if you're looking for something from the past that you remember, then I always start with search. I wouldn't scroll through a long channel discussion. You'd be there forever. Um, 
So I would just go through that, use search to find it. So if you have any other questions about using Slack channels, whether you're a GoCamp Pro member or not, please leave it in the channel discussion if you're a member or below this YouTube video if you're watching this on YouTube. Thanks for watching Getting Started with Slack, the direct messages and channels discussion. My name is Travis Allison from GoCamp.pro.